Hi, hello everybody. Welcome back to our channel and learn to learn one question a day in oral histology and tooth morphology. The question that we are going to see today is tooth numbering system. Could be alternatively asked FDI numbering system or the components of these systems can be asked as an individual question. So to go over to this, briefly we need to explain why there is a need. What is it? Tooth numbering system is a system used to associate information to a or link that to a specific tooth because we need this for uh, universally naming a tooth without any geographical or political considerations. A tooth central incisor should be denoted by a specific uniform nomenclature without any linguistic, geographical, or political interference. So for this process, it is essential to adopt a unique type or a code or a numbering system. Such systems are called as the tooth numbering systems. There are three major systems. One is the universal system. The next is the sigma, Palmondi or Palmar notation. The next is the universal Palmar and FDI. We have three prominent systems. One is the FDI nomenclature, the other is the universal nomenclature, the other is the Sigmar Palmar Palmondi notation systems. A big name. Okay. So, how does the universal system for deciduous dentition works out with ABCDE? How it works from the right upper deciduous second molar, we designate A. And it goes clockwise, clockwise from A, B, C, D, E, A, denoting the deciduous upper right second molar to J, where it is left maxillary second deciduous molar, K, mandibular deciduous uh, second molar left and T ending as mandib mandibular right second deciduous molar. This is the universal naming system. The universal naming system for the permanent dentition begins with one at the third molar and the right maxillary third molar to 32 in the mandibular right third molar, right side third molar. So it goes off again in a clockwise direction. And this is the universal rotation, most commonly used in the US and adjoining countries. Now we have a symbolic system called as the PAMA system, wherein we draw quadrant, which each of this quadrant representing, this is the upper right, maxillary right quadrant, maxillary left quadrant, and mandibular left quadrant, mandibular right quadrant. And this is we are dividing the arch, maxillary and mandibular arch into quadrants, each represented by a phenomenon like this for the maxillary uh, right, maxillary left, mandibular left, mandibular right and write the tooth number. The deciduous tooth are denoted from A to E, lower the alphabet, very closer to the midline and higher the alphabet away from the midline. So, Accordingly, the tooth are named A for the central incisor and E for the deciduous molar. Similarly, for permanent dentition, we use the number 1 to 8. Lower the number, closer to the midline. So, 1 to 1 through 8. So, if I write like this and write the number of the tooth, then the tooth is easy. This was not very tough to adapt to the computations. Hence, a two-digit system was proposed by the FDI for both the dentitions. Here, again, it is a two digit. The first digit denotes the quadrant. The second digit denotes the uh, tooth number. The first digit is upper right quadrant is denoted by quadrant one. Quadrant number is one. Upper left is given by the quadrant number two. Lower left is given by the quadrant number three. And lower right is given by the quarter number four. And the second digit is the tooth. And lesser the number, 
closer to the midline. So central lenses are as one, third molar has eight. So it is a two digit system. The first digit refers to the quadrant. Quadrant is clockwise, upper right, permanent is named accordingly one through four and density as five to eight. The tooth number is the second number, lesser the number, closer to the midline. That's it. That is for the FDI nomenclature. That we come to this and a very important question, easy to score. Happy learning, stay connected with this channel. And till we meet again, learn continuously at least one question a day. Happy learning.